Good morning and welcome to the fifth annual Future of Media Conference. Five years ago, the Future of Media Conference started out as a simple talk shop for media owners, media agencies and brands to engage and discuss the fault lines in their relationship. To further ensure the future of media is bright, I encourage the media stalwarts in this room to make sure that you're mentoring and look after the young and up-and-coming talent because that really is what the future of media is all about. We need to really rediscover uh, the power of newspapers and magazines to indeed get people to connect with a message. The best way to show off the brand is to get someone to experience it. The adoption is massive. These challenges are being innovated around and really I do believe that this is the future in, in which we buy media across any digital media. The world is changing. We're moving from a campaign dominated kind of thinking to really around a, a service design led thinking and brand community building. Successful branded content relies on a balancing act. Its objective is to entertain using a story while at the same time sending a message to that audience about the brand. Has the content marketing revolution started in Africa yet? It's definitely on its way, and I think there's a need for it, you know. It's uh, informed by necessity. Money's still in traditional forms of advertising. That's where the cash is. The purpose of this content is marketing. It is advertising. It is to reach an audience. For me, virtual reality is a way for us to be able to tell stories in a completely different way. It is a way for us to be able to share ideas and experiences from our own perspectives. Using virtual reality, it's actually allowed us to tell our story, to bring our brand to life. The truth of the matter is, it's about people. At the end of the day, the old age truth remains. It's about the people. On the other side of the tech, on the other side of the wall, where all the rare Pokemon are hiding. And that is what sets NavScan apart. The technology is ever-present, like air is ever-present. It's not something you can definitively pick that I've done to build my business. There are so many technologies out there, you have to pick the right ones for your business and use them to your advantage and where your community is. It's a two-sided marketplace. You have to scale both sides of the marketplace at the same time, otherwise you'll get a death spiral. So if you introduce supply but you don't introduce demand, the supply will leave. When demand shows up, they'll leave. We need a deep understanding of the social conversation to be able to deliver effective and relevant hyper-targeting and geolocation messages. Brick and mortar stores are here to stay and that digital doesn't compete but complements or online comp uh, complements offline. The key to making any of these marketing disciplines work is the integration of them all working together. Often it's very difficult for a brand to find the passion fit. How do you go about doing that? It's all about objectives and it's about strategic fit analysis, and it's about pairing them together. It's about knowing your audience per business unit, what makes that audience tick. Shared value is obviously critical, but I also think having enough room to be different is the reason you got into the sponsorship in the first place, is because you're borrowing something from the bright side, you know, which you don't currently have, so you can build this association in the first place. Big data is not what we're interested in. We're interested in small data. We are interested in tiny segments, tiny slices of information that give us better insights into consumers. So it's not the size of the data, it's what you do with it that counts. It, it's the analytics that come out of that, that and how those analytics impact business decisions. That's the important thing. People have got an overstated value in data. You, you see a lot of companies uh, being absolutely petrified that they're going to lose their data, cannot share their data, but still they do nothing with the data. The digital migration project is effectively stalled again, and that means no digital dividend for the mobile operators, no cheaper and more ubiquitous broadband for consumers, and squandered economic growth. What do you see the future of social media means for South Africa, South African media in particular? The audience has control. The audience has the ability to look at what they want to, when they want to, how they want to. So the future is seated and deep-seated in that concept. Suddenly, analytics matter, marketing matters, editorial matters, and the three have to come together. And it's not even on our own websites, it's on other people's properties like Facebook or Twitter. Gamification is really nothing more than the repeated application of common sense. Seriously, 
everybody understands that in gaming, we've spent hundreds of years, if not thousands of years, figuring out how to keep people engaged in a voluntary activity. What's the balance? What's the rules? How do we get that across?